So we put CuSO4, copper 2 sulfate, plus water. There's two things that can happen. Let's talk about the first one. So copper sulfate is a solid. And the copper sulfate we're talking about here is anhydrous. So here's CuSO4. It's anhydrous. And we say it's anhydrous because it's just CuSO4. There's no water attached. The blue here in the middle, though, that's where water was added. So now we have CuSO4, and this dot means that there's five water molecules around each formula unit of CuSO4. We call this copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. Penta because there's five hydrate water molecules. So that's the blue. If you heated this blue area up, the water would go away and everything would be white again. So to write the formula for that, we have our copper 2 sulfate. This is the anhydrous version, and it's in liquid water. And that'll give us CuSO4 with five water molecules around it. So this dot means the water molecules, they're around the CuSO4. And this will be a solid. But what happens if we put this in water? Let's take a look at that. So we have our copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, which is a solid. And we have it in the nice crystalline form here. And we add it to liquid water. Since copper 2 sulfate is soluble in water, this is going to break apart into its ions. We know that the sulfate ion, SO4, that has a 2 minus charge. And since this is named copper 2 sulfate, that means it has a 2 plus charge. And that'll balance out the 2 minus. So it goes in the water. We have Cu2 plus and the sulfate ion. Both of these are dissolved in water. They've dissociated. They've dissolved. So we just write Aq. Aqueous. That means they're dissolved in water. Because of that, we don't need to write water again on this side of the equation. Aqueous means dissolved in water. So this is how we would write the equation for when copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate is dissolved in water. If you left this out for a while, most of the water would evaporate, and you'd end up with your copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate. If you heated this up, these water molecules would leave, and then you'd have copper 2 sulfate anhydrous again. So this is Dr. B with what happens when you put copper 2 sulfate in water. Thanks for watching.